So I just checked in. It's really foggy. And it's a little bit awkward just like vlogging in public. I don't know how people do it. I hope you can even hear me. But yeah. channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Ella and I have a vlog for you so we're in London right now this is my cousin Hi. Regina and we are already here for a day I'm gonna insert some clips we went to the um what's it called the park Kensington, Kensington, Gardens. Kensington Gardens yes we went to Kensington Gardens yesterday and today we're going to like a couple of occult shops as well as the British Museum so that's gonna be really exciting um, and yeah, I'll take you along with me for the day. <laughs> so we are just on our way to the underground. Um, we decided not to walk to the British Museum. Yeah, I think that's a bit far. <laughs> it's a bit far. So we're gonna take the underground. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get a Starbucks first though because unfortunately the breakfast... <sighs> there, yeah, exactly. It was not necessarily the most fulfilling breakfast. So we're just heading to Starbucks first and then so We have arrived on I guess Oxford Street. <laughs> Is it new Oxford Street? We're just I, yeah. right? Yes, yeah. yeah. So we're just on our way to the museum. way to Treadwells and I hope we can film inside. We'll see.
came back from Treadwells. So I am now, well, we are now on the way to the next book, yeah. which is shopping spree books now. Yes, <laughs> shopping books. awkward to film in public <laughs> but yeah I bought a bunch of stuff at Treadwells um, Atlantis books we also went to which was cute um, but yeah so I'm just getting mashed potatoes with sausage again I had it yesterday as well and yeah So it is the next day, um, we are, I don't know if you can tell, somewhere there. <laughs> we are near the Tower of London, so we're going to the Tower of London today. Um, and we have um, the Victor Wind or Wind Museum, something like that as well planned. So that's really exciting. <laughs> and yeah, so I'll take a few videos of the Tower of London. Um, and anything else that I can see. There are supposed to be lots of ravens. I remember that from when I was there, when I was like a child. Um, so yeah, exciting.
we're done with the Tower of London and as you can see the Tower Bridge behind me so we're just on our way to get some Shake Shack because I've never we've both never had Shake Shack mm -hmm. so let's give it a go <laughs> so we have oh pretty we've sort of made it halfway we are just in a park with a pretty building and should hopefully be at the cemetery soon. We've just left Highgate Cemetery and are now exhausted <laughs> and on yeah and on our way to um, the Victor Wind or Wind Museum. For those that are looking to go to the Highgate Cemetery, it does cost money. We went to both the east and the west side. Um, if you only go to one. It's four pounds, but if you want to go to both, it's 10 pounds per person. So yeah. meeting us in 30 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting very nervous and excited. Mm -hmm. It'll be good, I hope, I think. But yeah, it's just very exciting. So yeah, um, I'm hoping that I can film in the office or at least like a little bit here and there. I have to obviously ask first. Um, but yeah. I'll see you then. So, I'm here and I'm about to go into the office. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Alrighty, um, here we go. I've just gotten to Westminster Abbey. I have my book in here. <laughs> um, so we are at Westminster Abbey um, bus stop right now and then we're gonna have a look at Westminster uh, as well as Buckingham Palace and you know the touristy locations like Big Ben and everything. Um, you got it. <laughs> yeah we'll just have a look around. Uh, so yeah here are some clips of that.
here I must be honest I unfortunately cannot recommend going here I had different expectations so maybe it's more so my fault but I have done online lectures with the last Tuesday Society for example Ronald Hutton which have been amazing and going in I just kind of expected it to be more of an occult place and having more occult things on display and quite honestly it really just was a lot of death. Um, it also smelled horrible. I had the smell on my nose for the entire ride back um, in the bus and in general it was just very clear that it was meant to be kind of shock factor and just very weird things which I guess you know if you're into that that's absolutely fine. I guess I just had different expectations.